Hello, my name is Svisbjenko. In this video I'm going to talk about the Swiss pocket grip from Wenger. Uh, this is an older Swiss army knife. It's uh, quite unique. I had it for a long time in my study collection. Uh, that was back then as Wenger was not owned by Victorinox. Uh, we see even the packaging back then was made in Switzerland there in Reinach. So we're gonna open it up. Inside we have the sheet with the Swiss Army knife and there is also a bit a manual. We're gonna have a look on the manual first. Uh, we see it in French, in German, English and Spanish. As we unfold the whole paperwork, we see quite some information in those languages. As always, those small folded paper things are a bit tough with a uh, crinkling and all that. Uh, we're gonna start on this side from the left to the right. We see the use to open the can uh, for the screwdriver use. That is a special construction of the design of the screwdriver. As you press on it, it's gonna lock into place. Then the warranty, five years there we have the address from Delemo and back then the people that were responsible for that and there we see the part, the end part of the first page. Then we see on the second part, on the second side there, uh, wir gratulieren, sie sind nun glücklicher Besitzer eines echten Schweizer Messer. Hergestellt in den modernen Fabrikationsstätten der Wenger SA in Delemont, Swiss. Uh, of course, we have it in English too. It just say the uh, congratulations on owning that item. Uh, we see there about oiling by the plier. We see also the whole length there. Then we see where the bit is put in, the bit holder, and also how to put on the bits. Then to the item itself, we have the regular pocket of Wenger. Uh, pretty nice made nylon. I did not do anything to it. Uh, this one I did hardly test out that uh, Swiss Army knife. It was mainly in my study collection and today I did think I'm gonna make a video on that. Uh, we see inside has a bit of fabric. It has a velcro closure. Needs a bit of a flame because it's also fraying. Uh, the pocket sheet is quite likely not made in Switzerland. Then we come to the item itself. It's quite a, a design. Basically we have a plier with some added parts of the Swiss Army knife design from Wenger. Uh, the sticker is original for close and open and this item gonna give you a real usable plier you see how thick that is good eight millimeter thick on this side that's quite a, a material together with uh, with the leverage there but of course it's gonna also use up quite a, a space in the Swiss Army knife uh, it's over one inch wide so all in all it was not selling too well back then uh, rather uncommon rather rare item 
as we're gonna see that part here is basically for the close and open that as we're gonna this way it is in the locked position keeps the, the plier together so we're gonna switch that down then the spring loaded action gonna open up on the on the Swiss Army knife here and then we can actually use the, the pliers and for storage we simply put that back up uh, on the back side we have the all is still the original oil on it the variant from Wenger is not sharp it's just pointy it's not a reamer then we have here that part that comes off for be used as the bit holder uh, on one side is the part that goes into this hole here and the other side would then uh, a bit fit in uh, pretty clever made the whole system there so that you can actually use that part here for in a different way than the usual uh, corkscrew and Phillips it has a bit of a magnetic feel to it there it, it sticks on it goes on it and it's not gonna fall off there with the small parts of course we have here the tweezer inserted into the scales it's the typical style of tweezer that Wenger uses uh, that the scale is outside smooth and uh, on the other side as we reach in there is the toothpick of course also inside the scale facing with the with the notch inward not outward we can't take it out like this it needs to come from inside to lift it up there and then we have the main tool here the blade and yeah the the part of the the spring action of the blade is already on the weak or on the weaker side to what it what it usually is a uh, typical found problem from Wenger unfortunately and uh, we have a in this case a fully serrated blade uh, that did also fade away the, the fully serrated blades but uh, there's gonna be a surprise in the in the future again on this matter uh, we see on the tank stamp it says if I can read it has a bit of oil on it Wenger, Delemont, Switzerland and Steinless and of course on the right side is also the crossbow hopefully the camera gonna be able to see that on the other side is the Wenger logo put on the blade that typical Wenger design uh, basically that one that we have here on the box as well Then on the other side we have a bit more tools. Uh, we have right next to the plier we have the metal file and saw. In this case it is the older variant that is made out of carbon steel and then I think it's a chrome plating on it. It's not the, the stainless steel variant. Again uh, back then that is a, a really older Swiss Army knife that was done like that by Victorinox as well then right next to it we have the saw and actually on, on uh, those tools the, spring, the springs are better uh, we see on the side of the saw there are markings in inch on this side on the other side on the other side we see it in centimeter and millimeter what we use in Switzerland and I gonna 
quick try the spring on the yeah the spring on the metal file metal saw is also in a very good condition that did not loosen up at all then we have the last layer uh, we see the patented screwdriver from Wenger uh, it's also a bottle opener and uh, the main feature of this design is as you press it in see if I can do that yeah it's too hard on the camera uh, basically it's it's a as you press it in it's gonna go inward about one millimeter and uh, because of this action it's gonna lock up so it can't fold anymore as it is pressed yeah maybe like this the, it's pretty hard but if you use it as a screwdriver you see how it goes in like this and then it's not gonna unlock anymore just as it is forward position it's gonna unlock so that is really nice done on the other side we have the typical the typical Wenger can opener there uh, pretty sharp also can be used as a all uh, problem on this side of course is that the plier gonna be in the way a little bit we see there is about six seven millimeter space in between the end of the ply to the can opener uh, usually for right hand people we would have the can here and then we would dig it in and cut around so there the the gap would be way enough to open the can for a uh, left handers of course it's a bit a different situation the wenger can opener works pretty well because it has a, a pretty sharp side and it it is pointy as well so as we close that back up we're gonna have a look again on the bit holder i just did open the plier and uh, then that part here comes out one bit is already a bit on the on the loose side we see the the bit holder the the bit magazine that is in there uh, basically this part here gonna interlock in front there and that part here on the back gonna interlock in here so it's a bit uh, a snap fit that it has uh, we see six different bits and of course they are the regular size bits so you can interchange them if you need a, a different bit and uh, back then torx was not that much around so there is only the the flat ones and the cross or phillips head ones uh, we're gonna quick put one in the tool uh, for use the tool we would close the plier again lock it in place then we would take that part out and close it back in uh, the part would go in here there we have a bit of a spring a flat spring on the side so it's gonna not fall out then we can put in the bit and use it as a screwdriver uh, of course the you could also use a longer extension if you have a a longer extension uh, to put it in between that would work as well but uh, basically it would be like this so that is how that is again i did not use it too much at all other than study the design and learn about it uh, it's the question how well that plastic and there is a bit of metal part inside as well would hold that bit as we use it as a screwdriver that it would not rotate and getting loose that is the question on the other side we have the the privot that goes through the plier it's a question how 
big or what kind of size that has. I don't think they did make much uh, a bigger a bigger uh, rivet for rivet the whole thing together but uh, maybe there is a boozing or something in it. So it's still a bit on the on the questionable side how well such a device would have uh, worked out. Uh, here in in between here we see that spring spring action there that does the spring action for the plier it's hiding in there and we're gonna quick put that back together yeah another problem is to get that back out because it is really short you need strong hands to put that back in and I don't think you're gonna use it as a screwdriver much like this it, it uh, is in the way so it is for sure a bit a compromise and then we have the bit holder that it goes in there then we unlock that again and I need to get it started basically maybe that side we see it a bit better uh, basically we need to go in with this one here first and then we snap it in with the other one on the back side and then it is in there uh, it's not really absolute solid but as the part of the plier is on it and locked into place that is not able to fold out or get lost so as long as it is in that way and quite likely in the in the pocket sheet that is a pretty pretty good way to carry it so all in all it was back then a uh, attempt from wing to combine a small plier with the swiss army knife uh, on some features it's really interesting also the, the plier itself is relatively uh, thick and well made uh, we see on the side here we have a wire cutter then we have a open part here and then simply a, a fat flat part over here it's not a needle nose plier it's just a regular flat one that they that they selected and uh, it has quite a quite a good uh, grip but of course compared to a regular bigger plier this is on the on the small side it depends on what you wanna wanna do with it the the basic idea for sure is pretty nice uh, as best as I remember back then the price was relative high so they had a bit of hard time uh, selling it also the, the dealer price was relative high if I remember best, it's already so long time ago, uh, my mother got that for me. Uh, they had some kind of bonus, whatever, uh, from a store and uh, that you could order that and pay a bit something and get that. And uh, as best as I remember, that was that way that we got that because back then we could not afford to buy brand new items like this from stores and back then I did not have deal the prices either so I hope you liked it it's a, a rather raw and unique piece from Wenger Swiss Army knife this time I don't collect too many of the Wenger knives simply by chance there were way more Victorinox around so that much about the Wenger Swiss pocket grip.